Hello everyone, welcome to this video looking at the size of nanoparticles. Let's start off with what a nanoparticle is then. So a nanoparticle is a substance that has a size ranging from 1 to 100 nanometers. And a nanometer is 1 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, or 0.000000001 meters. Now, if we compare the size of an atom, a nanoparticle, a speck of dust, and the thickness of a piece of paper, you will see that an atom is 0.1 nanometer, a nanoparticle is 1 to 100 nanometers, a speck of dust is 2,500 to 10,000 nanometers, and paper has a thickness of 100,000 nanometers. So you can see nanoparticles are tiny. Now it's all good knowing about the size of a nanoparticle, but realistically you're more likely to be asked to do some calculations involving these numbers. So let's have a look at a few examples. So for example, how much larger is a nanoparticle of 50 nanometers than an atom, which has a size of 0.1 nanometers? Now to answer this, you need to do a comparison, starting with the biggest number, which is 50 nanometers. Then it's as simple as dividing this number by the smaller one, 0.1 nanometers. So 50 divided by 0.1, which tells you it's 500 times bigger. A slightly more complex question is that a nanoparticle has a size of 97 nanometers. What is the size in meters? Now, if you remember that a nanometer is 1 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, then therefore 97 nanometers is going to be 97 times by that 1 times 10 to the minus 9 which in your head you can work out is 97 times 10 to the minus 9. You can simplify this down and it goes to 9.7 times 10 to the minus 8, which is the answer your calculator would give you. And that's it for this video. I've got a few questions for you, so pause the video, have a go, and we'll see if you're right in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So question one, our larger particle is 240 nanometers. So we divide 240 by 15, giving us an answer of 16 times larger for one mark. Question two, convert 240 nanometers into meters. So 240 nanometers is 240 times 10 to the minus nine, which we can simplify down. And your answer is 2.4 times 10 to the minus seven for your second mark. And that really is all you need to know on this section. I have got a review question for you. Have a go at it, and if you want to know the answers, have a look in the section down below. Good luck. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, I've got a website with lots more information and revision material, and you can also watch my latest video here. Bye now.